It looks like we have some active weather across the area, both some windy weather and some wintry weather. Could say, since we're near Thanksgiving, a cornucopia weather. Ha, ha, ha. Very funny, huh? In any case, start by taking a look at the uh, windy conditions. You can see a high wind warning effect for the Cody Foothills. That will be from tonight into tomorrow morning. And a high wind watch. This will be for Thursday, basically anywhere from uh, Rock Springs up through Casper. As far as expected wind gusts around the uh, Cody area, this will be from uh, tonight through Thursday morning. Highest wind gusts probably around the sunrise, say about 6, 7 o'clock. Again, most of these probably around the Clark area, also the mountains. Not many people live there. If you're going Highway 26 and maybe 296, it could get rather windy there. And also, even in the Cody area, you could see some wind gusts maybe there at 50 miles per hour, especially the west side of town. So I take the usual precautions there. And as far as uh, around the uh, Casper area, this will be for Thursday. I think strongest winds there probably you know, early, mid-afternoon. Again, these might be underdone a little bit. Places like Outer Drive, South of Casper, also some of the higher elevations across the Green Mountains, Highway 287 here, also 2026, especially around the Highland area, and also I-80. You could see wind gusts to 60 miles per hour. So again, a lot of crosswind there, so high-profile vehicles, make sure you exercise a lot of caution. As far as any uh, wintry weather, again, uh, winter storm watching effect for the Tetons. We could see this map expand as we head through the afternoon with more advisories, maybe more warnings. As far as uh, snowfall amounts, uh, highest amounts, again, across the higher elevations, especially across, say, uh, the Tetons, also portions of Wind Rivers. Now, I want you to know something. Across the valleys here, Jackson Valley as well as the Star Valley, it's going to start off pretty warm here. We're going to have some southwest well coming in. So snow level starting about about 7,000, 7,500 feet up north, but the highest 9,000 feet as you get down toward Afton or Kemmerer. So much of the uh, precipitation is going to fall in the form of rain or rain mixed with snow, probably Wednesday night all the way through much of Thursday. So travel conditions shouldn't be too bad there. Once the cold front comes in, though, snow levels will drop to the floors again. So Thursday night, heaviest snow for everybody. Snow levels falling to the valley floor. It's going to get windy as well. So it could be a period Thursday night when things could get really difficult to travel. As far as uh, summing everything up, again, high winds likely in the Cody foothills tonight and to, uh, tomorrow morning. And high winds possible east from Sweetwater County, northeast to Natrona County. That will be during the day on Thursday. You get snow, significant snow across the mountains, 7 to 14 inches, maybe locally over 20 inches in some of the favored areas. And the valleys, again, not a lot of accumulation, I think, through Thursday. Most of the accumulation there coming Thursday night into Friday. And the worst conditions probably coming around midnight, uh, Thursday night into Friday morning. And as far as travel, again, still be snow pass, little snowpack roads, slick conditions, Togedy Pass, Teton Pass, also Salt Pass as we head toward Thursday night. So may want to take some winter precautions there. And also uh, strong winds east of the divide, making travel difficult to get around the Cody area, as well as Interstate 80, that will be on Thursday. And also our I-25 around Casper, U.S. 2026, you know the usual trouble spots. As far as any resources, again, weather.gov slash R-A-W for forecasts. You want road conditions, yroad.info. You want to call on the phone, 511 in Wyoming, 188 Wild Road if you're coming from out of state. And there's our webcams by route. If you want to use that web address or just go to our homepage, you can go under uh, local programs and click on the webcam page. Be safe, everybody. Have a good day.